you come out of the Northampton game okay? Any injuries or anything? Um, no, boys have had a couple of days off. Um, most clubs tended to do that and, and we're the same. They, they've had a, a busy Easter period, a busy season. It's just important that they look after themselves. We've no reported knocks, touch wood, everybody be training and as normal today. The, the home form has been pretty good this season. How do you now replicate that and take that away from home? By wearing our home kit, by just trying to do what we do at home. We don't deliberately do anything different, just things haven't quite been the same on our travels. We've got to try and make it happen for us over the next couple of away games. Um, there's not a team in the division who have won both games um, over Easter. Does that show how difficult wins are to come by at the moment? Yeah, it just shows how tough the division is. And I didn't know that stat, but um, it does. It, you know, Easter can be a big, busy period. If you can win six points, if we'd have won six, which we we gave ourselves a chance of doing with a Friday second half performance, and unfortunately couldn't couldn't finish it off. It gives you a right boost. Um, the fact that nobody has just probably sums up the division in terms of everything still to play for. You played a different formation the other day. Is that staying for this weekend? We won. There's a there's a chance. Um, we'll we'll have a look. We'll see how the boys are today. I went down to watch Plymouth on Saturday morning, Saturday after, Saturday lunchtime. So um, I'll have a chat with the staff again, and, and we'll see where we go. There's, there won't be too many changes. And uh, obviously now we're into the uh, coming up to the playoff um, arena. How do you feel that your team are prepared for that? Well, we're trying to make sure that we don't get in the playoffs. That's the that's the aim. Our, our aim is to win four games out of four. Um, we're coming up to the, the business end where it's all about results. Performances get you those results. Um, we're we're ready. We're, we've we've got some fit, hungry players who's, who who are still got that desire to to get where we want to get to. What we've talked about all season, um, and, and it's still it's it's still something that we're capable of doing. I think we've got to win at least three if not four of the games um, but it, that is still achievable and how realistic do you think it is to take a step forward from that on this weekend we're, we're whatever fourth in the table Plymouth are third from bottom that doesn't mean that you're going to automatically win the game they've, uh, they've just beaten Exeter Southend and Fleetwood you know before their before they're disappointing defeat on Monday so we're not we're not kidding ourselves it's not going to be easy but no game is if we turn up like we have done the last few few weeks, um, on the whole, we, we, we go down there with a, with a chance. And any word on selection? Have you uh, decided on the team yet? Uh, I know in my own mind where I'm going. I'll, like I said, I'll see where I'll see where one or two boys are today. Russ Penn comes back into my thoughts. You know, I gave him a breather um, because I th felt we needed just some fresh legs in there. I made one or two changes um, for Monday's game and and. Like I say, I've got to pick four teams to win four matches and, and whether that's the same team or whether that changes game by game, uh, you know, my, my thought process won't change. It'll just be just picking a team to win to win each game as it comes. OK, that's it from me. Thanks. Mark, it's, it's quite a contrast to last year's trip to Plymouth, isn't it, where you, you already had the playoff position in the bag, but automatic was obviously a long way off at that point, wasn't it? You knew you couldn't get that, so this year it's... Very much the pressure on. Yeah, we 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 we've just been talking there. We you know we we managed to. Um, we knew we were in the playoffs. We changed the team around completely. Gave a few of the boys, one a rest and two two others a, ch a chance to go and show what they're about, and, and they took it. Pressure on both teams. Saturday, we need to win to. To maintain our push, Plymouth need to win to because they're scrapping for their lives, and, and I saw that on on Saturday against Exeter. They. Um, they, they fought and scrapped and and they had a massive crowd behind them. The thirteen and a half thousand in League Two was, was something special. Decent ground, decent pitch. Um, it, it's it's just game on. It's not about nerves and, and it, anything like that. It's just about being focused and making sure that we're we're as good as we can be. Yeah, do you think the fact that you're still very much in with the chance of the top three with four games to go shows that it's better to be steady throughout the whole season? And last year you had purple patches, didn't you? But then you had a Really bad March. You haven't really had that this season. But you're right. Still right in it. I'd still. I, I don't know, John. I'd, I'd still like more points than we've got to make. You know, to make sure that we, we were automatic. But you know, we're not. We. You know, it's it's not quite in our own hands. Bar the fact that if we do win all all four games, then I, I really believe that, 
that it would be. Um, we've we've been steady all season. We've not been spectacular, as you said, but we've not been we've not been we had a couple of heavyish defeats in November. Um, but we haven't had too many of those of late. We've looked solid. We've looked organised. We've looked like we like we enjoying our football and playing some decent stuff. I think the league is just tougher. I think I think there's a there's a the gap between the top and the bottom has definitely sort of shrunk, and it's it's just it's about winning your matches on the day. And I think there's very little between a lot of teams. We just we just you know we're we're fourth, and I think after 42 games probably. You know, we've been in and around it all season. We, we've just got to have one big push to try and get where we want to get to. Yeah, I don't want to make too much of anything about the home away form, but remember your first season here, you were, you were trying to do things to get the, the players' mind off playing at home, weren't you? Because you couldn't get a win at home. You were turning I up in track suits, things like that. I can't, that. listen, I can't remember. I've, I've told you, my, my memory's hopeless. I, I I don't think it's too much of a big issue with this one. I, I, I spoke to the kit man yesterday, and I know we're wearing our home kit. Um... Maybe something like that might, you know, I think the last time we bought it was South End away, so hopefully, you know, we keep wearing that blue kit of ours. It's not been too good for us if we can, I know we won't wear it necessarily wear it against Exeter, but, you know, we go to Plymouth, hopefully in our, in our striped shirts, our home kit, hopefully just a bit of familiarisation and, um, and hopefully the boys will be ready. Yeah, apart from the fact that they have a big crowd down there, what else did you uh, notice from watching? Uh, they've got some good week? players, you know, they've got some good experienced players, Wooten and, and, um, and Branston at the back, um, Reuben Reid up top, with, there's a lad Bantam, they've got some good players, good wide players, they're, they're, I'm surprised they are where they are, but that's, you know, no concern of mine, my, my concern is just, is making sure that we are as good as we can be, making sure I pick the right team, get the right formation, and, um, you know, we tra we travel down tomorrow, and um, we really make sure that we we put that to good use. Yeah, how much of an advantage does that give you with the overnight? Because you can't you can't obviously afford to have that many. Yeah, no, we don't have too many, but we're in a lucky position that location wise, we're not we're not too far from everywhere really. So we we we're lucky in that respect. I travelled down on Saturday morning to the game, and I, I don't think I realised how far it was to be honest. I'd had a long day Friday with with our game, and then Northampton. Um, I put my sat nav on just past Cheltenham and I'd got something like 154 miles to go and I thought that was round trip and unfortunately it wasn't. So it was it was a hell of a trip. I think I think going I know going will be a benefit. We'll we'll train on our way down, get the get the journey out of our legs and um, I'm sure the boys are, are raring to go and, and looking forward to, to trying to win the game. Yeah, the last that away result you talked about South End, you had Benson Harrison up front in that game now. Pleased are you with the way those two? I thought they did number. very well. I thought they did very well the second half against um, Port Vale, and it made my mind up for for Saturday. I didn't think they were quite as good on on on, on Monday, sorry, but they, but they they were effective. Um, they were a threat, and and it, with that formation, I suppose also it gives Daryl and Sean hope that you know if we keep that formation, then then they can get on and, and score goals, or or maybe one of them can even push one of the other ones out because you know they've. Sean's our top scorer. Darrell was last year. I've got I've got four decent strikers. You think they've all got a part to play? I think too. everybody. I've said that for the last six eight weeks that to, to the squad that everyone's going to play their part over the next um, well over the next four. But I, that's been that's been the case over over the last couple of months. Like they're all in my plans. They're all a big part of what we're trying to do. You know they need to support each other, back each other, and, the, and they've done exactly that. What's the uh, ideal result for you Friday night? If you, if you could I, choose, I, I, I don't think you've even gone that far, John. You tell me. You've probably studied it more than me. I, I don't know whether you want Port Vale to win to to Dent Burton, but then that might mean there's only one place available. I, it's, it's we've just got to try and win four games. I think if we do win four games, I think we go up. I think if we win three and draw one, I think we give ourselves a chance. Um, I don't think anything less is going to be good enough. You know that said. If we have to do it by the playoffs, so be it. But but our aim right now, with four games to go, is is to try and get three points on Saturday, and then and then look to a, another tough one a week after. Thank you. Thank you very much.